Yo, what is up guys, so for today we're going to be talking about ST2, now specifically we're going to be talking about a specific weapon that I ended up holding for just, like, you might never know reasons, and I am so fucking happy I held on to it, because this weapon absolutely fucking slaps, it's gross, I am two tapping people, and I don't even know if having, like, the highest resilience will even stop it, so, it's Criminal's Dagger, I don't... For the savvy of you that figured it out in the last video, yeah, dude, this fucking weapon slaps. I'm having footage of it right now. I love this weapon. It's one of my favorite fucking weapons. And it's gross. It's really gross, uh, especially since you can get really good rolls on it. So I'll just talk about the rolls real quick. Outlaw, moving target, range finder, auto loading holster, threat detector, triple tap, and snapshot sights for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be kill clip, zen moment, opening shot, explosive payload, timed payload, field prep, and hip fire group. So the role that I got was snapshot sights and kill clip. I think that role is really good because snapshot sights really fixes the issue of the gun feeling really sluggish. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but 120s, when you take them out and then lame, it feels slow, it feels sluggish. Snapshot sights immediately fixes that issue i don't feel that anymore and i love it kill clip obviously for the increase in damage i don't have to explain that hopefully but the great thing about my role is the fact that i ended up getting drop mag or alloy magazine if i remember correctly i can use alloy magazine if i want to but i just i prefer drop mag just because of the the increase in reload speed so essentially i have an outlaw on demand with better snapshots or snapshot sites essentially and kill clip this weapon can fucking two tap and i know people are gonna be like no fucking way here is footage of it i've lost my shit when i got this because i think it was like what triple tap or triple kill with that weapon and i was like yo this is gross like i'm two tapping what the fuck I, bro it's such a good weapon i think the stats are okay the recoil is a lot fucking high but if you can control this monster it will do people dirty it's one of my favorite weapons right now to bring in iron banner because people don't they don't expect you to tap to tap especially like in a row i so i usually never really go with like go through uh like uh kill times or stuff like that that other bigger channels do mostly because i don't have friends to test shit on and most of the time when i'm testing stuff out it's literally me just playing the game it's not like going into like a uh, a lobby with a random person and then just you know like verifying things through there i would love that i just don't have anyone to do it with unfortunately so a lot of the things that i talk about is very uh anecdotal it's like my experience i understand that but when i tell you criminal's dagger is fucking gross and if you can try to farm to get a decent roll i don't even think you need snapshot sites if you have one with kill clip bro is gonna do you well kill clip i think is really what brings this weapon together that's why i said steady hand depending on how many stacks you need can or how many stacks of swashbuckler you need can probably d t double or two tap from nasty distances because if i remember correctly swashbuckler does go a little bit higher than no i think kill clip is the higher one either way swashbuckler depending on how high you get it can probably two tap from either criminal's daggers same distance with kill clip on or maybe a little higher i, I like I, like i said i don't have anyone to test this with unfortunately so you're just gonna have to imagine it with me but if I did have someone to test it with, I would I would love it, honestly. But I would probably tell you if you are not a fan of snapshot sites, which completely understand, I guess, then I would probably tell you rangefinder would probably be a better option as well. Uh moving target, outlaw. Obviously, outlaw and kill clip would probably be like everyone's like immediate like bread and butter. Like that's the role I want. I would tell you outlaw is definitely great. I just don't think it would be worth it because you're losing out on all of the other perks that you can get, especially since you can probably get drop mag on it, either drop mag or alloy magazine. Again, I, I know a lot of people don't like drop mag because of how much the ammo economy gets taken away from it, but Crucible does drop uh, ammo bricks 
and honestly <laughs> this weapon like i think i got the god god roll in my opinion i haven't seen the sights yet i i want to see if i got the good sight if i did i'm definitely like trying to let everyone in the world know yo i got a really god roll criminal's dagger because this shit i'm not even i'm not even exaggerating when i say it two taps because i've had multiple games i think i i just showed you guys like what my, my my three piece kill that i got in an iron banner and you guys know i'm not bullshitting because i got this in iron banner so it's like i can't i can't just make this up uh i know i'm hyping this weapon up a lot but i think it deserves it especially since you know i got the 120 buffs just like every other 120 i think the i think the stats are fine i think everything about this weapon is dope i just think the kill clip is really necessary for it to become this monster of a, a weapon so let me know in the comments below what you guys think that's pretty much it again i would love to give you like stats and numbers and all this crazy shit but i just don't have the necessary resources for that like i don't have people to do that with i don't have i just i don't have <laughs> i'm not i'm not that big yet but once i do i'm definitely gonna be talking about that just because i really do enjoy that aspect of it but yeah let me know what you guys think or do you guys think cripple's dagger is worth it let me know in the comments below i personally love this weapon like i said it's one of my favorite 120s right now and i'm so happy i saved this weapon so yeah I will see you guys later. Be safe. You guys will know what's happening in the world.